Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a makeup tutorial on my take on the red lip. I think it's a classic and timeless look. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do and let's go ahead and jump into it. I'm starting off by defining my eyebrows with this hourglass arc eyebrow sculpting pencil and the eyebrows are really important in this look because we want them to be nice and full so I'm taking my time and I love the way that this is angled it just makes it so much easier to sculpt my brows out and immediately after that I'm going to define my eyebrows even more with concealer this is a step that I don't normally do but it does give your eyebrows a nice crisp finish so I'm using this concealer by Jouer it's a concealer stick so it's a little bit thicker consistency and it's going to make it easier for you to sculpt those eyebrows out and I'm only doing it on underneath the eyebrows not on top and then I'm going into my Lorac palette and I'm using this color cream all over my lid and I'm bringing that all the way up to my brow bone this is also going to help set that concealer and then I'm going into this gorgeous chocolate color by Jouer. I'll have all the names of everything that I use listed in the description bar. And this one, I'm just applying it in the crease, nothing too crazy. And once I apply it, I go in with a clean brush and just blend it out. I want it more for definition than color. Then I'm using this eyeliner by Milani and you can use any uh, pencil liner that you have. We're gonna be smudging this out, but I like using this one because it's very, very creamy. And I'm using that same eyeliner to tight line my waterline. And then I'm taking a liquid liner to fill in any gaps that are left between the tight line and that pencil liner. Next, I'm taking a black eyeshadow on a pencil brush and I'm gonna be working on diffusing that pencil liner out. This is going to take a little bit of patience. You basically just have to keep dipping into that black and slowly diffusing it until you get it to the consistency that you want it. I also used this liner pencil to help me distribute that liner a little bit better because it wasn't budging on the corners. But then I went back to the pencil brush, the eyeshadow, and continued smoking that out. But I wanted to make sure to concentrate that smokiness on the lash line. And then once I got to the outer corner, I just flicked it out and just created this sort of cat eye. But it's very soft and smoky. And since I lost a little bit of that cream shadow, I'm just going back over that and uh, reapplying it. And also just going back into that blending brush and with no additional product, just going over that crease. I also added some false lashes off camera and then I just cleaned up all of the fallout. Next, I went in with this moisturizer by Provice. I got this in my BoxyCharm and it's a Hydro Milk. It's super hydrating. This is going to be an extremely matte look and since I have dry skin, I wanted my skin to be nice and prepped and hydrated. Following that, I took my NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and I mixed two drops of my Cover FX to give it a full, full coverage. And I just apply that with a flat brush and as you can tell I applied way too much product it was an accident so I went in with a damp beauty blender to number one absorb all of that additional product and it also got rid of any streakiness that was left from that brush and uh, next I went back to highlight underneath my eyes and also conceal any redness in my face and I just used these two products the YSL Touche Claw and my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer which you guys know I love both of these products to highlight and conceal and then I just went in with my beauty blender and blended it all into my skin. Went in and set everything with a loose translucent powder and I just used my same damp beauty blender to press the powder in all over my face. I started underneath my eyes just to make sure that that concealer didn't crease and then I started patting the powder into the rest of my face and I even brought it down into my neckline because I was going to be wearing a very low cut shirt or dress I should say and then I went in with a regular powder brush and just dusted off any excess powder and now my face is completely matte so now we're going to work on sculpting the face and warming it up just a little bit but again I don't want it to look like there's any harsh lines so I'm just going in with this bronzer from Too Faced and on an angle brush and I'm just starting to apply the product where I want it first which is right where my the hollows of my cheeks are and then I also applied some underneath my chin and then I went crazy with the blending I just blended 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 until you couldn't tell where the bronzer started and where my foundation started it just looks seamless and I also did it on my forehead and I went ahead and defined the sides of my nose a little bit as well just to give it more definition. 
Next, I used this blush by Milani in the color Red Vino. This blush is absolutely gorgeous if you're doing any type of classic red look. And it has a little bit of like a gold flex in it, so you don't need any highlight with this. And it's going to look so beautiful with a matte lip. Then I went back to that same Milani pencil and lined my waterline. And then I set it with a black eyeshadow. The black shadow is going to mattify that color and it's also going to make it last a lot longer in your waterline. And then I went and applied the roller, roller lash mascara by Benefit and this adds tons of length and I also topped it off with Giorgio Armani Ice to Kill because that adds a lot of volume. And I had actually applied some of this highlight to my inner corner earlier, you may have noticed. So I went back and reapplied it. This is called Caramel. It's by Joy Cosmetics. To prep the lips, I went ahead and added whatever was left of the foundation on my beauty blender onto my lips so that we had a clean canvas to work with. And I used Avenue by ColourPop. This is a liquid matte lipstick. It's a gorgeous red color. It was a pretty lengthy process applying it because I didn't use lip liner, but I went ahead and sped this footage up to just so you can see what I was doing. So I started by applying it all over the center of my lip and I tried to define it as much as I could with the wand, but what I couldn't really get to was the, my cupid's bow. So I switched over to a lip liner pencil. Try to work it as quickly as I could just because this color dries super fast. Once it's dry, you really can't go back and fix it. So I just try to take my time with it. And that is it for this classic glam look. I think it's perfect now that we're getting into the colder months and we're starting to approach the holiday seasons and just fall in general. So I hope you guys like the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you do. And I will talk to you guys on my next one. Mwah. Bye.